All right, so uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about the NDI Cam or uh, the NDI application that sh now Ecamm Live has that's built inside of it. And what this allows uh, you to do as a, as a user of Ecamm Live is, uh, you know, any, any phone or any tablet that you have that has a camera, uh, you can use that as, a, as an extra camera source as well as even a microphone source all right now the the ndi app itself um you know that was nine dollars 99 cents us dollars in the app store uh so so worth it uh, i'll go ahead and put a download description uh, a link down in the description below where you can find that so it can be nice and easy for you uh one of the only things only the only requirements here for this to work is uh, one you well, two things uh, you need to have the app downloaded on the phone and then the the secondary thing is uh, you need to be on the same network all right so as you can see my my phone right now is uh, is tethered to the internet so that's good uh, and it's on the same network that my ecamm live uh, is on as well all right so um, essentially if we were to go into uh, ecamm live right now uh, camera sources um, you know you, you would expect to find it but you need to launch the app in order for it to function all right so um, you we will see a new camera up here here uh, that we didn't see before but before we get into the ecamm live portion uh, let's go ahead and uh, i'm going to show you um, you know just i'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the the functions that we that we have here all right, so uh, you have this icon right here that essentially flips the camera to the other side. Okay, um, you have the quality speed slider. All right, uh, you can slide that more towards the quality, and what that will do is, well, you know, it's going to boost your quality, but it's also going to may increase your lag time. Uh, you know, you may see some delayed lip movement and stuff like that. Um, if you slide it over to the speed version that means you're, you're sacrificing the quality all right so what what i found that works best is you know have it on the you know right there in the middle and that seems to work fine okay the the next thing over here is the ndi uh, that needs to be toggled on so that ecamm live will see this as a as a valid ndi source okay uh, the next thing to the far right is going to be the uh, the little gear icon so let me let me click on that and uh, again, I'm I'm naming I'm I'm labeling the uh, the phone here. Uh, so I just named it iPhone 6s Plus because that's what it is. Um, I forget what it says you know normally. Uh, I did have the enable audio and then also prevent sleep. Uh, that means that your your phone won't log off after you know a minute of non-use. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and click on the the done here. And. Um, Again, here's something else to note is you are able to uh, to tap on the actual screen itself and you're, you're able to autofocus, okay, um, and, and sort of just that lighting so that you saw there. You, you do have the ability to, when you, when you flip around the camera, now that lens is, uh, that lens is a lot better, okay. Um, so I always suggest if you, if you are going to do any filming, um, you know, use that lens. It's, it's the better quality and you even have the ability to turn the light on. Okay. So, uh, again, uh, has that features on there. And then if your phone has a autofocus lock, it's, uh, that's what that icon on the top right here is where you can just push and hold. And now that's autofocus locked. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and, and flip the camera around. And as you did see, it, it did, it, you know, it did crash on me. Uh, I am going to keep that in the video uh, just because, hey, uh, you know, expect some of these things to happen. All right. Okay. So how do we get it to uh, to appear in Ecamm Live? So let, let's take uh, let's take a look at that. Let me change just this lighting here so it looks a little bit better here. Um, so you, we will now see this. Uh, and let me go to uh, to a main webcam here. So this is my normal webcam, and uh, we can see down here on the on the switcher and even up here on the camera that we have the air server. That's what I'm using to uh, to uh, airplay or airplay my my phone. So that's what you're seeing over here on the on the far right. Um, I got my original uh, Logitech webcam. That's what we currently have going right now. And then we also have this. So now uh, I just switched cameras to this one. Um, and again, I can I can get all three in here. <laughs> and so. Man, that looks that looks pretty interesting, right? But anyways, um, yeah, uh, shift click holds works on that. 
Um, but yeah, the main source, it's not going to, not going to be my air server. Uh, it's going to be the camera there. All right. So pretty neat thing, uh, with that. Um, what I have set up for my, uh, you know, holding the, holding the phone in, in camera as well. Um, I know we discussed this in, in other videos, but I just wanted to, to show you that, um, I, I have this thing here, um, right there, AR. K O N, and uh, it's on a stool, a little pivot. It even has a stand for an iPad there. So I, I use this in the videos all the time uh, to get some overhead shots. Uh, I'm definitely going to use it so that I can just clamp my phone in here, and I'm going to start using this as my as my main camera now. So um, just because the it seems like the quality is just a little bit better, and that way I can just snap it into that device. And then I'll be be good to go. It doesn't shake. It's very sturdy and everything. Uh, if you are interested in that product, I'll post a link down below. If you type in the word Scrappy Do for the coupon code, uh, you will get a 20% discount. So uh, keep that in mind. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, this video with this. Um, one one other thing before I go is we you do want to make sure that uh, you know if you are utilizing a professional microphone um, you know the sound quality on the phone is it's almost like you you're, you're putting someone on speakerphone so very low quality uh, always double check your sound you know your source because you, you want to make sure that you are recording or you're you're broadcasting to the you know to the right device all right and I, I definitely want to make sure that I'm doing that uh, with this but you, you did see that I do have the ability to record from the iPhone 6s plus uh, because of that uh, that software there in the NDI incorporation okay but uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, make sure you continue on watching uh, some of the other ones that we have uh, so that you can further expand your uh, eCam live knowledge all right so until next time Take care.